Yeah, but that's, like that's not a cloud. That's no moon. That's definitely like yeah, I guess forest it's fire or something. So today has just been an extremely lazy day. Mostly because we've just been in the car. It's a little after seven o'clock right now and we left where we were camping last night at like, I don't even know, it was like 10.30, 11 o'clock. And we've been basically driving the whole way. A few stops here and there to get gas or get food or something. And I got ice cream. Ice cream is so good. I hate how bad it is for you. They need to invent an ice cream that is like not bad for you. Not frozen yogurt. Or like, was it sugar free ice cream? No, none of that. That's some, that's some wimp stuff. We need some good ice cream, but good for you. But since today's just been a lazy day, I figured I'd tell you guys something that I do that I actually started last December in 2015. I don't do as much as I should, but eh, it's, it's the idea behind it I think is, is kind of neat. So I basically have this journal and it's literally everything on my mind. And the idea behind it is whatever, anything that I think of that could be used to inspire someone else, I write it down or something else or anything that has to inspire me, anything that I basically think is cool, <laughs> I, I write in this book. Like I said, the idea behind it is once I'm done and I fill up all the pages, I'm gonna leave it somewhere. I'm just gonna literally throw it somewhere. Somewhere where there's people. I'm not just gonna throw it in the woods, but throw it somewhere and leave it for someone to find. You know, so it's like, that's why I wrote, if found, used to inspire. So I have things in here from, like, yeah. <laughs> you are now entering my brain. Yeah, I have anything in here from quotes to like, books that I want to read or have read. A, a bucket list. Really, just like I said, anything on here. And partially the reason why I'm talking about it is because for a lot of the car ride, we spent coming up with movies that we want to watch. So bear with me here. We wrote not one not two, not three, Where is not even four, Where are <laughs> definitely not even five, not even six. And you might be asking yourself, Chase, did you write seven pages? No. We wrote eight and like a third of, of, just, of just movies. <laughs> These are literally movies. Anywhere from Interstellar to Mad Max, to Heavyweights, to Spirited Away, to Looper, to Star Wars, Star Wars, to any Disney Pixar movie, it it jumps everywhere. To Castaway, to The Matrix, to Moneyball, to Jackass, it bounces all over the place. So. Like I said, yeah, I have drawings in here. Just really, I don't know how this would inspire someone, but I do now. But I have like, I have the cost of traveling for a year. You know what I mean? Anything from food to stay for fun things, anything for transit, a bunch of stuff. So this is, this is a book that I'm kind of passionate about and I'd really like to finish it and start another one and so on. My plan is to do at least one of these a year. That probably won't happen, but who knows? This is the 2015 uh, version. Well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know.
know what else to say. Anything you want to say? Get the fuck out! That's where what? it was. <laughs> really? Yeah. Let me see it. That's awesome. I didn't know it was in there. How did you not notice this? What? I don't know. Alright. Quick story behind this rock that Jake just found in his bag. Found. I don't know how you found it now. You've been opening and closing that bag the whole Weird. trip. The story behind this rock is that four years ago, we were on our high school senior trip in Disney World. And we were in Epcot, and there was a girl that worked in the Mexico part, and he thought she was so pretty. What was her name? Cindy. Cindy. Lou Who. <laughs> Cindy Lou Who. No. Her name was Cindy, and Jake just... Cindy Lou. You wanted to talk to her, right? Or you just wanted to get as oh, no. good as a glimpse of her as possible? I wanted, I wanted to talk to her. Yeah, Jake wanted to she talk to her. Way, so, you thought it was a good idea. She was, um, she was working the counter and selling things. So, he went and bought this rock. And isn't it you're supposed to rub she it ran. or something? It gives you good luck? Yeah. Or it's, you rub it when you worry. You're supposed to rub this rock when you worry. I and just bought it because it was the cheapest thing. Yeah. How, how much was it? Do you ever rub it three when you get worried? Bucks. It was like three or four bucks, and he just wanted to talk to her, so he bought this tiny little rock, and it's been missing for like a couple of years now, and he just found it in his bag. Pretty cool. I'm pretty sure at one point it was at my house. It was. I lost it there. But... Yeah. Huh. Funny. When you least expect it. Yeah. That's Jake's rock story. Everything on my mind. If you like the idea, comment in this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> so, all you princess in the vlogs, if you like this idea, be my guest. Do it yourself. You'd be amazed some of the things that you can come up in your mind once you write it down. And it's an you know, art form or whatever you want to call it that I should start doing more. It's going to be my goal this year to write more things down. Probably not going to do it. But I'd like do to hope best. I would. I'll do my best, that's all that matters. Do your best.